Hey guys, Hurricane Liz here, ready to answer another question. This time we got we got a really good question, which is going to bring up a very nice story. So you guys will get a, a particularly nice story in this actual answer. But Democrats only, he asks, I'm assuming it's a he, I became a millionaire at a young age and didn't respect money and squandered it. Sounds familiar, right? Now I'm retired and really interested in your Amazon program. I am intrigued by the thought of online money. Where do I start? So... Democrats, where do we start? We could, when, when the guys actually told me I was gonna have to answer this particular question, I, I said to myself, hmm, do we do a PG version or do we get the full throttle action packed? And I, I hate to tell you guys, they said, uh, Liz, we're getting some complaints about your cursing, so please do the PG rated version. So Democrats, I too have squandered money, obviously so, and the biggest squander that I've particularly had was when I made all this money in online poker and the thing that I bought myself was a gigantic mansion in fact this house was no tiny house it was over 5,000 square feet had six bedrooms a theater a sauna a fitness room I'm trying to think what else was in that place and uh, guess who stayed in there uh, me and my sister <laughs> And it had six bedrooms and two little Yorkies, a gigantic yard. It had all sorts of really nice things. And what it came down to is every time that you kind of come across one of these situations, you will learn something for it. So for me, that actual um, lesson that I learned was don't buy what you really don't need. You have to invest a certain percentage of your income every single month into something so that you have an investment. Luckily for me, that house did turn out to be a profitable investment, but at first it was more of like a, a, a bill, like it was a, a debt. So that was the lesson. Make sure you're always investing in your future because I'll tell you what, time flies by and before you know it, you're getting old and getting up there in age and shit starts to hurt. We're talking about elbows and knees and all sorts of crap. Now, where do you get started? If you guys are sitting around trying to figure out what do I do, there's Amazon, there's Shopify, there's digital marketing, there's all sorts of stuff. What I like to advise people is always start with what fits your personality. So in Democrat's case, maybe he's a really personable dude. Maybe he has, has got sales background. Maybe he enjoys being on the phone. Maybe he enjoys networking. I would suggest something in the sales um, area. So I would look at starting a digital marketing agency. So I'm going to just abbreviate it with DMA. I would suggest maybe, um, trying to think what else for sales. We'll think of something else. I would suggest anything that is related to sales that he could get in there and sell, right? If you don't, if you're not that type of person, I would suggest things like affiliate marketing which is an online thing and I didn't even spell that right. I would suggest Amazon. I would suggest Shopify. I would suggest things like that. So it starts by breaking things down for what you want to do. Oh, consulting is another one up here. So you could buy a, very easily buy a consulting course and then just figure out the sales aspect of things. If you like to socialize with people, if you don't, there's these, but then within these, you have to figure out, do you like the idea of learning things like pay-per-click? Is that something that suits you? Do you like the idea of building websites? On Shopify, you have to build a site. And sure, people say it's very simple and easy, but I can tell you from experience that I freaking hate to do that shit. That's why I choose Amazon. Plus, the beautiful thing about Amazon is Amazon has 400 million credit cards on file. So you kind of partner with them. At the same time, there are also a lot of really bad things about Amazon. So you want to be able to diversify your income just like I did not when I played poker. So the reason I, I had to sell that house is because of the fact that I was not diversified and my only source of income was poker. Now I have several. So just the other day ago, and I'll share this with you guys, I actually got hijacked on Amazon and I got hijacked in the most awful freaking possible way. I'll tell you guys, that is a fact. So it's going to take a while to get this listing back, which was one of my top listings, but we'll get it back. But that would have put a huge dent in my pocket money wise, if I wasn't diversified and have several forms of income. So why do I do these YouTube videos? 
it's obviously to help people, but it's also to, let's face it, to make a little bit of money in the long term. So what I recommend to you Democrats is if you've decided to go with Amazon, you pick the right person that you want to follow, you pick a mentor and you follow them. You do what they say, just like Mr. Miyagi did for Daniel LaRusso in Karate Kid, which is now Cobra Kai. So that's pretty much my answer. I hope that helped you Democrats and I hope that helps everybody else out there that's trying to figure out what to do online. At the end of the day, you just got to get started and pick anything. Time will bring you to whatever it is that you truly like to do as long as you're tasting all the things that are available out there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, if you want to leave a question for me to answer, post the questions below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer those. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.